One of my favorite quotes is from Tim Keller. To be loved but not known is comforting but superficial. To be known and not loved is our greatest fear. But to be fully known and truly loved is, well, a lot like being loved like God, by God. It is what we need more than anything. It liberates us from pretense, humbles us out of our self-righteousness, and fortifies us for any difficulty life can throw at us. I'm beyond excited to stand here before our dear friends and family today to make a lifelong commitment to each other. The last eight and a half years have shown me what it means to lead from the Lord in our relationship and as I walk this earth. You have pushed me to be a better man each day. I want to say thank you for your heart of intentionality and how you, inc how you are incredibly steadfast in the Lord. Sean William Dario, I have vowed before God and our friends and family to intimately know and love you each and every day as God fully knows and loves us. I vow to unconditionally love you without limitation or hesitation. I promise to hold your heart with empathy, compassion, grace, and mercy as I tenderly give you my heart and all of me today and every day from this day forward. The way that you choose to pursue the Lord in every situation is absolutely inspiring. I've never met someone in my 22 years of life who is more gracious, loving, compassionate, enthusiastic, caring, and kind. I know that we have, we have and we always will walk through some pretty deep valleys, but I vow to pursue the Lord first that he may lead us onto mountaintops. I promise to be a fierce and strong warrior and encourager for you and your heart and to champion you in what God is calling you and us to this side of heaven. I commit to selflessly helping each other in the becoming of our future glory selves until we meet our Savior in heaven. Sydney, your grit and determination is truly remarkable to say the absolute least. I vow to love you till my last day on this earth. I promise to provide for our family. I promise to put you before any amount of work because as we both know, I get caught up in work. I promise to protect you and I promise to be your best friend now and forever. I vow to be your teammate in the journey God has already written for our lives and our family. I promise to seek Jesus' face and to lean into the Holy Spirit together. I commit to not living for myself, but living for God and for you, sacrificing and serving when it isn't convenient for me. I vow to lower myself and humble my heart and to beautifully respect your God-given leadership in our marriage. One thing that has been a staple of our whole relationship is this imagery of a cord of three strands. Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. Ecclesiastes 4.12 I promise to always be braiding this cord with the Lord as the backbone and you and I weaving through. I promise to comfort you in the lowest of the lows and the highest of the highs. Sydney Jordan, you are my person. It is abundantly clear that the Lord has brought us together to make this lifelong commitment and love that is never ending. Whether we are on a mountaintop or in a valley, I will choose to love you no matter how much money is in our bank account. I promise to steward the blessings and gifts the Lord places in our hands well and to give Him the glory always. I vow to choose you today because love is a choice. I vow to choose to love who you are today and I vow to choose to love who you are tomorrow and who you will be in 10 years, in 20 years, and forever in the becoming of who you are. I cannot wait to start to grow with the Lord together as a team. And as I promised when I proposed, we're going to kick butt.